still distillation with a thumper keg in the middle, propane, water hose with cool water with an exit out the top, 10 gallon pot still, copper, this is a stripping run, whole wheat flour in the water to seal up the top so no vapor gets out. Something to hold the very hot thumper keg. Something to hold the cold condensation. This tells me what the proof of the alcohol coming into the mason jar is. As you can see, we are at 80 proof. As the condensate fills up inside of the tube, it overflows into this tube and drips down to the funnel. Once this number reaches 20 proof, because it will progressively get lower and lower and lower, once it reaches 20 proof, or 20 alcohol by volume, excuse me, once it reaches 20 alcohol by volume, which would be 40 proof, I will cut the distillation process and throw away the rest. But as you can see, just from the time frame that I've been talking, it has inched up from 80 to 75 proof. If I stay here another 30 seconds, So after that 30 seconds, you can see that the proof meter has gone up a little bit higher, two or three points, so it continues to do this for quite a while. Inside of this, I only had it half filled to five gallons. I believe that the most important measurement is to know right here what that temperature is, the temperature of the vapor. But, if this is filled to the top of the still, we will only know the temperature of the liquid and not the vapor that's up here. I feel that's very important if you are doing a very liquor or scotch or anything else that has pectin involved in it. Because pectin is what helps in making dun -dun -dun -dun, methanol, which will destroy your vision. There's a thermometer right here. Once I hit 204.8 degrees, I will shut this off. But for now, I am still distilling. As you can see, we went down even a little bit further than last time, not too much. About two more points. 